Hey guys, John Vabronic Technologies here today working outside with the mobile wet blasting machine here. Um, we pulled our forklift outside just to do some coating removal testing and we put um, some aggressive abrasive in here, turn the pressure up and we were able to burn this coating off. This is a very thick factory coating. Um, I'm going to zoom in for you. But we cleaned this down to bare metal. Um, cleans off rust really quickly, really easily and the coating uh, you can sit there and burn it off it's going to take you a second but um, for those of the guys that want to blast heavy equipment um, this is the process for you super super easy um, if you want to reuse this abrasive you can uh, especially doing coating removal applications what we're finding is the abrasive is basically settling right below the blasting of the particular area or the part as you can see here on the ground um, so you could just scoop this back up, reuse it, throw it back in the machine. Uh, it would be probably a good idea uh, to try to try to sift it out a little bit, especially if you get some gravels or something um, that you pick up. You're not going to feed those through the gun. Um, the pump will feed them, but the um, the nozzle will not. It'll clog. So if you're going to reuse the brace, just try to sift it the best you can. Um, but you can see how it piles up on the ground here, and. Again, we just did some testing for coating removal. This is a coating prep application. This part's ready for paint. Um, the corner of this lift is ready for paint. So if I was gonna blast this whole thing, it's gonna take a second to burn this paint off. It's so thick, but you could also clean the rust and etch the coating that's there because it is adhered very well, but you could etch that coating and shoot a new coat of paint on it right there without removing the entire coating. This mobile machine is really really sweet um, we're running this machine off a 30 gallon harbor freight comp compressor uh, this unit costs 1500 bucks very affordable uh, works very well we're running at 115 psi on the the blasting machine right now and this uh, compressor will stay at 130 psi it will maintain 130 psi while we're blasting so remarkable results um, from this setup and if you guys have questions, call or email the sales team. They're always here. Happy to help. Thanks for watching.